Hello guys, it's been a while and I've not done a video for a little bit of time, mainly because I've not really had that much to record. So uh, today we are going to have a look at dart nests. This has been a little bit of a request uh, for people and I think it will be quite useful. So some people wanted guides to dart nest level 6. I've tried to get some footage of us winning a dart nest level 6, but either I've been offline or I've noodled them. So um, they're, not, they're just not very easy to do. So uh, what I'm going to do is set up how I would do a dart nest level 6 uh, just to show you. Um, and I'm also going to show off a few things um, from from the new update. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I've got myself the uh, castle skin. I was a little bit disappointed because the castle skin's cool, but you don't get any stats from it. It's just it's just something to have on your castle to to look cool. So probably after you know after a couple of weeks, I'll probably change it. But it, it is a it is pretty cool I think um, I've also hit a billion might um, that is pretty much nearly 450 million research and I can't remember how much troops to be honest oh, 33 and a half million so I'm on the way to 34 million troops um, all, all T2 all T4 like I said before. So, what are we looking at when we set up for a dart nest? So, first of all, you've got to find your lane. Now, dart nest level 6, is there any around? Let's have a look. There's one here. So, let's scout it. So, it's 156 million. Actually, looks doable. So, let's uh, get the scouting, have a look, see what that says. laugh because someone's asking for the packets <clears throat> um, and then we've got the uh, the darkness level 6 scout report so as you can see it's got familiars they're always going to have familiars in level 6 uh, it's got frostwing and then saberfang uh, and Pyrus and Yeti and obviously Mega Maggot. Now Yeti is interesting. So let's look what's in here. So it's probably one of the worst type of dart nest you can have. It's a mix and you just don't know what you're going to get. But looking at the familiars can give you a clue. So this has got the Yeti familiar which if you don't know the Yeti Familiar boosts your Cav attack. So it, there's a high likelihood that this could be a Cav front um, dart nest. Okay, so how would we set up for a Cav front dart nest? I thought someone had done it then. So we go in, we rally. Now, this is another key point. Are you going to have enough people on to fill? Because you need to fill a rally for a Dark Nest 6. There's no point in going at it with a million T4. You just ain't going to get anywhere. So, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, whatever. Let's say 10 minutes. Let's say we're feeling lucky and we've got enough people. Now, as the rally lead, boost. So, I haven't done it because I'm not going to really do in the Dark Nest. Um, uh, but I would be boosting so that I've got 450k troops which obviously means you've got 2.4 million troops in your dark nest um, this, is, this is a cav front I think and as, as anybody who's done dark nest knows you never can tell you just have to go with whatever hints you can see in the scout report so, cav front means we want range, so I'll set up my range. 
and fill it up. I've got my 100 buffers of inf and my 100 <coughs> of cav. Okay? Familiars, this is important for the level 6. Okay? I'll go over it. I'll go into the familiars and have a look in a second. But really, the only ones you want to be using are Tailwind and whatever you are fighting against weak point. So obviously, hopefully this is a cav front, so you want Deadly Slash. So you want that in there as long as well as Tailwind. Now because I haven't unlocked the familiars I'm going to show you in a moment um, fully, then I would have Aquirus and Hearty Feast, uh, Evil Weevil, for, the, for what they do. So they increase your army HP and decrease your enemy HP. So it seems obvious. Okay, so that's how I would set up my heroes. Obviously it's range, so it's range heroes plus uh, my leader for the army attack. So that's how I would set up. I might run it and then if I if, if I run it and win, then you know I can I can show you afterwards. Okay, so familiars. Oh, the packets have been dropped. Thanks, Slayer. So there's three really important familiars. They're the stacking familiars when it comes to running the level sixes. So where are they? Gemming Gremlin, okay? It's attack fear spike. Now in darkness, especially the level six, you're gonna lose troops. So something like the fear spike, really useful. Similarly, long shot. So if we were doing that dark nest that I've just picked, now I had this unlocked, then I would be do be using Trickster um, for its range boosting attacks. And then the other one is um, just the goblin, uh, which is for your cabs. Okay, so that's how I would set up. So what I'm going to do, just because I've I've taught the game, so I may as well uh, I may as well play it. Uh, I'm going to try and do the darkness. So I'm going to show myself setting up for it, um, and I'm going to set a long timer so I can try and fill it, uh, and then. Hopefully, I'll have some footage for you of a good dark nest. Okay, so uh, I found a dark nest. It's this one. Dark nest level 6. Uh, let me find the right scout report. No. Is it that one? No. Oh, that's difficult, isn't it? Is this the one? Yes. So, we might, this has got the Yeti in it, so we might run into Cav, but I'm sending Cav, just because of the sheer numbers of um, infantry, and really looking at those ranged troops, you know, it's a fairly good chance we, we can take that on. Um, so I've set it up, I've got my familiars. So some more key points uh, for darkness then. Um, gear, definitely. So making sure you're in your right gear. Talents. So am I in the right? Um, and then formation. So what formation am I going to use? Well. Surely you might think, use Cavfal, because if you're going to go blasting in there. However, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is use Rangefal. Keep your main bulk at the back. Now I've got 100 range and 100 infantry to go in there. Um, it's not many, but it's just those are the two front lines to go in, start attacking the wall and hopefully take the wall down alongside um, the familiars and the heroes um, and then 
the main bulk of the force hopefully will get stuck into the infantry. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. Um, so you've got your talent set up, you've got your formation picked. Best make sure I pick the right one. Um, and then just before you march, now I'm actually I'm 60 miles away, so that's going to be a you know a decent march. But I was stuck in another dark nest, so I couldn't move. Um, so what I will be doing once it is full is entering fury. So just scout an empty castle um, and get my fury stats. And as you'll see, Battle Fury is active, and then I get those extra Battle Fury uh, stats there. So the Army HP and the Army Attack. So I go in. I've also got a leader. I haven't got a level 60 leader, but I've got Altar Boost. Um, so I'm not going to show you all of my stats, because they're for my eyes only. Um, zoom past. Uh, but as you can see, army attack 256, army HP 418. The army defense, it, you know, it's not that important, I don't think. But mine's 262 at the moment. Uh, there's much room for improvement, and I will as my gear gets better. Um, but I shall come back uh, once we are closer to the, um, to the dark nest. And then we'll see if we can we can win this. And then I'll also see where we went wrong if we don't. Okay, guys. So we've got the uh, the marches going in. Um, one minute to go. Let's pick an emoji. Lovely. Uh, so Fury's on. Talents are set up. Um, all for Cav um, and Squad HP and Squad Defense and Squad Offense. I've got my gear on and I've got my formation. So, am I going to Noodle? More than likely. Um, I'm not. Like I say, I've only. I think I've only won two Darkness Six before. So, um, they're just really hard unless you've got the exact right setup or you know what you're going against. That's the other key thing. If you're doing a dark nest, because you don't lose troops, just keep going. Don't worry about it. Reset. Try again. Um, I've reset on one about four times last night because I just I couldn't work out what the problem was. So anyway, here we go. Um, probably a fail. I might celebrate a bit if we win, but um, there we go. Oh, I won. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay. That's a um, very pleasant surprise. So, let's have a look at the report then. So, uh, level 26... Essence, fantastic. Won by 115k. So that's pretty good. Um, actually, it's a lot more survived than I thought. It was in Cav Wedge. Um, I'll show you what that means in a minute. Um, battle report then. Yeah, so uh, Cav Wedge means, as we'll see now, that it was, it was Cav at the front with Imp at the side. So, you know, it, that is a nice, very good, straightforward one. So, thankfully, I got the win to show you how it's done. Um, any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments, as usual. Um, leave a like would be amazing. And thanks for watching.